Hello everybody, and welcome to another Minecraft Bedrock tutorial. In this video today, again we have another subscriber suggestion, this time from a person called Rochelle Penalosa, probably butchered your name, so sorry about that, but they ask for a hidden multi-block swapper. Now, there are many block swappers you can make, so I was looking on YouTube for some inspiration, I came across one by Mumbo Jumbo, a very old one, called the Flush Multi-Block Swapper, and I really liked his design, so I thought I'd get some inspiration from that, and that's why I've built this one for Bedrock Edition. So, at the moment we have our floor, as you can see, we flick the button, now we have a chest, flick it again, now we have a furnace, and we flick it once more, a crafting table, and again, again we have our floor. Now as you can see it is, well, ridiculously small, it's only two high, three deep, and five wide, which has a total of 30 blocks, which is, well, pretty tiny. <laughs> so without further ado, let's get on with this tutorial. So for this truly amazing build, you're going to need two sticky pistons, three regular pistons, one stone button, one redstone torch, six observers, four blocks for a redstone to go on, 14 of your floor blocks, and then four blocks for your piston fee tape. In the example I have behind, I have another floor block, I have a chest, I can't even think, a crafting table, and a furnace. Okay, so to start, have one of your floor blocks, then come underneath it, three blocks under, I like that, to remove the first two, sticky piston facing upward. You can remove that block now, and then come out two to the side, press down torch here, button here, so that will do that. Then place an observer facing this way, block in front of it, regular person here, come up here, observer, block, regular piston here, observer here, and a sticky piston here, and then place a block here, and a regular piston here like that. Now what we have to do is come underneath and place an observer off that observer here, go facing downward, then an observer facing this way, into that uh, sticky piston facing upward, uh, observer here, and a block here. Now actually, you've done all the redstone, so if you flick the lever, flick the lever, flick the lever, flick the lever, lever that's what should happen now we can place whatever blocks you want in so place maybe a crafting table that's not a crafting table is it it's a furnace here we are then a crafting table then maybe your chest here now when we flick the button we flicks round nice and easy now if you want say an anvil in here the only thing i would suggest is to place a block here so it doesn't fall out the bottom and that'll be perfect Okay, now all we have to do is place blocks on top, and you're completely finished. There we are. Beautiful. And this is the end of the tutorial. Thank you so much for watching. If you did like this video or like my design, please give us a like. And if you really loved it, make sure you subscribe with that wonderful subscribe button for more awesome content. Anyway, I'll catch you all guys in the next one, and I'll see you later. Bye! the lever.